50-50% mixing of two different services uh, should be important for, for uh, the system which is uh, which comes to the low energy plutonium the result of uh, some crystal fields here as the box chart. Okay, but nevertheless, I'll just forget about this order for a moment and ask what would my NGO be uh, without this order, the, the point taken by Skinny Shank, I guess. So, the 15 parameters from uh, as was uh, shown by Martin and used some early SR data, uh, this all comes out. Um, what comes out is that there is an additional term in the Hamiltonian, which is J2. But the, uh, the terms which are hard to get intuition about is uh, the low diagonal uh, anisotropic exchange terms are at the zero of plus sub d. And that, of course, was very helpful news for us because this essentially puts us back on the SXT model, approximately the SXT model with some corrections. And uh, uh, we, we already knew quite a bit about J1, J2 model, which uh, actually does have a spin dip in its phase pattern starting from. 0.5 to roughly 0.15, and many people in the audience actually contributed to this nice looking uh, one dimensional phase diagram. What was interesting to us is that was essentially nothing known about the uh, uh, simple expansions of this model, for instance, along the delta axis at the long axis Z parameter. And it turns out that spin limit survives by far, but it gets killed by the J term rather quickly. So, this is my first uh, graphic. Uh, uh, Diagram, uh, the graphic map today represents the object which looks like this. It's a kind of different, different uh, pyramid, and each slice corresponds to different uh, height of which you have the topographic map. So you see the spin liquid is stuck between 120 and two strike plates, and actually it's uh, supported recently by uh, variation on the ground population from, from uh, uh, the balance group, and the blue region here is a uh, different path of different balances. It's a rather, it's, it's, it's a rather close quantitative quantity So the question is, where is my NGO in this map? And it's uh, over here, or if you like the 2D maps, it's, uh, it's over here. It's far away from uh, the liquid region, and it gets larger there at the moment, according to the MRG. So what's going on? The question is, how is it possible that you can have a spin liquid like response to such an older state? And the answer is, it has more than two installments, but let me just go with this too. The first one is that, is that let's just forget about this uh, one dependent term for a moment again and uh, ask what, uh, what do we know about this right phase in uh, XXZ, J1, J2 model. And uh, what's known about it is it's actually chosen by order by disorder from uh, uh, many called the spiral states. And uh, the barrier between this, this different strike orientation is therefore rather small. That's uh, rather just rather common among the water bodies over systems. Now, you turn on anisotropic, the, the anisotropic exchange term in the form of J. And this is the time when you remember that uh, it actually comes as a difference of much larger terms. And you remember that if, you, if uh, the system starts having disorder, basically it starts shaking. This, uh, this exchange matrix by about 20%, which is consistent with this order in the in the uh, uh, in the uh, gene vectors, uh, then you realize that what's going to happen is that J plus plus will be fluctuating 100%, so it can be positive, it can be negative, it uh, can, be, can be essentially anything that is in some regions. And uh, the one feature of uh, J plus plus is that it favors different derivations of spin, for instance, even with the same, same stripe orientation. So it came to us as an idea that this can be just a random, random being field uh, uh, feature, and uh, we can model it with uh, DMRG in some uh, rather decent manner. And uh, just to make long story short, you can either end up with uh, clusters of uh, strikes with different orientations, or you can uh, end up with uh, what we call strikes in purple state. It's basically the cluster and makes a state in which you want to integrate that to be restored, and so this strike. The, the system fluctuates between two different types of orientation, and you can freeze one of those orientation by applying a tiny little tiny to the one, and you will already see the uh, strike of day. Again, there is some, some support for the classical uh, consideration from different groups. So, bottom line to me is that there is a consensus now, or emerging consensus, that line zero is, should be the free, is the little free line zero, should be in this type phase. It's much older moment, but uh, this older makes it uh, look like it's been big. There are some people that we have there, but they can come back to that later. Okay, so this is uh, the, second, the second paper in this uh, installment, and it 
and then some other interdisciplinary works, uh, including as a market, and so I will touch about that uh, towards the end. So, uh, we decided because of some uh, questions that how does, uh, you know, well, we explored some part of the phase diagram, but you can explore the entire phase diagram, so we decided to explore the entire phase diagram. In a sense, we just abandoned the J2 term and asked what would the nearest neighbor, most generic model of the type uh, a guy Cheng has proposed is going to look like, how does the phase diagram look like? And we have four parameters, one global scale, so it, is, it provides you with three dimensional space. So delta is mapped on the height of the cylinder. The upper face of the top face of the cylinder is the height limit limit of the SXC term, bottom is the x y limit, and uh, the uh, angle, angular variable is, uh, is where j plus plus is mapped on, and uh, jz plus uh, is mapped on the radial direction. This uh, just Again, but all areas, if you sum up this, uh, this is uh, all you have in the quasi classical limit, these four phases. There are, there are some corrections, uh, uh, there are some intermediate phases which uh, I'm going to discuss, but that's, uh, uh, that's largely irrelevant to the rest. So, then, of course, we are interested in the spin on cut case, and the question is how do we explore it? Well, we explore it with the help of uh, uh, the technique called the MRG. And uh, there is this method of uh, fixing all parameters and varying one of them along very long cylinder, which provides you with one dimensional cuts through, this, through the uh, basic case uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, parameter space of this system. It's supplemented by a large number of other scans, uh, like uh, other measures like DMRG, more traditional DMRG, whatever else, scaling, uh, measurements of SLQ, and so on. So this is an example, for instance, if you just uh, pick a point from, from this space diagram somewhere here or here, you end up with uh, very uh, large other moments with deep in this type phase, and uh, uh, you don't need to explore too much around if you know that uh, it's, it's going to remain like that uh, in uh, most of the regions. So to make a long story short, the spin liquid occurs in, uh, in this region over here. And I will skip about four slides of DMRG. If you want to see them, either find me after this talk or ask me during the question, I hope I can show you more. Okay, but I'll show you one. I'll show you one. So, this is the suspected region of the spin liquid state. And what you do, you start from this phase, from the Heisenberg phase of, of the cylinder, and drill a hole within it to go to, to the middle of it. So, that's the middle of the cylinder, that's the uh, Heisenberg end of it. You can plot the other moment and you can see that there is hardly anything detectable about uh, uh, the uh, value of delta equal to, equal to uh, 0.7. So, to summarize the phase diagram, this is uh, the topographic map of 